This is an ant hill. In fact, it's an ant city and a good-sized one. You see, ants are what we call social insects. They live in communities. Uh, they live all over the world, above, on, and under the ground, and some of them, like uh, this species, live in trees. But you can find them from the Arctic waste to the tropical jungles and from the seashore to the timberline city that uh, we're looking at is a, a good-sized one. It compares to, uh, well, say, uh, Minneapolis or Cincinnati or New Orleans. I mean, a city of uh, half a million uh, busy inhabitants. And as in most American cities, uh, they're largely composed of workers. Uh, this is the interior of our uh, ant city. It has uh, main avenues and side streets and uh, stores of different kinds. And uh, the workers are busy uh, storing food, taking care of the young, uh, maintaining the uh, exits, the city gates, doing all sorts of uh, work. And they are all assigned to special tasks. Now, this is a queen. There are a few queens in uh, each uh, ant uh, community. They, all they do is lay eggs. You'll notice their peculiar shape. Uh, the rear section is like a large, shining inkberry. And at certain seasons of the year, there are winged males that appear. Now, the queen does nothing but lay eggs, those uh, small, gelatinous-looking uh, things that uh, you see. And uh, inside those, there develops the, the grub. There's a magnified uh, uh, set of eggs showing the grub developing inside. Now, these are called larvae, L-A-R-V-A. The worker ants, which are sterile females, by the way, take care of the eggs, carry them to the incubator room, so to speak, and see that they're not spoiled, take care of them in cold weather and warm weather. And here we see some of the larvae that have just hatched out of the egg. And there the workers uh, appear to take care of the uh, newborn larvae right away. They clean it and carry it off to the, uh, well, you might call it the playroom. Uh, this larva uh, very shortly will spin a cocoon for itself and uh, go to sleep inside there while it changes into the shape and form of the adult ant. Now here are some of those cocoons, and incidentally, these cocoons are what, is, uh, what are sold as ant eggs in pet shops, uh, as food for fish or birds or whatever. But they are not the eggs. We see these are the uh, larva inside the cocoon that they have spun for themselves. Now these workers move them about according to the weather. When it's nice and sunny, they take these uh, cocoons and carry them up where they can get some warmth and a, a touch of the sunlight. When it's time for the uh, young ant to uh, emerge from that cocoon, uh, the ant, uh, young ant, works from the inside, scratching and chewing and struggling, and the workers, seeing this activity, come and help it from the outside. the young ant uh, finally emerging from the uh, casing that it spun for itself, the cocoon. It ticks the empty casing away, and that's where another uh, function of the working tribe comes in. They are street cleaners inside the city. They carry off all the debris, including the uh, empty cocoon cases. As I said, at certain seasons, there are winged forms in the ant colony. The queen uh, develops wings, and uh, also the males appear at this season of the year only, and they are winged. Well, you see one winged male appear, you know that the season is on, and there will be a lot of them shortly. Now, here are the males milling around, looking for the queen to show up. And there is the queen, the large one in the middle. It's uh, almost twice as large as the male. 
Well, the males start uh, just playing and going into their song and dance to uh, see if they can win the hand of the female who leaves the nest and goes to some elevated position outside. There the males fight for her favor and finally one groom is chosen and uh, they go off on their uh, wedding trip. Finally, she uh, gnaws off her own wings and comes back to Earth and settles down to start a new community. Now, the most important thing about the worker ants who do all the work in the community is their antennae. Well, we call them their feelers. They do everything. They uh, smell with them, feel with them, hear with them, and uh, talk with them. Now, there's a couple exchanging some uh, very uh, good gossip, I suspect, uh, telling tales out of school. But these workers then uh, undertake all the trouble of building a, a new community and uh, they repair the roads, for instance, inside and uh, they uh, clean the streets, among other things, uh, you know, in a community of that size there are some deaths and uh, they, there's a burying squad. Now, here's a, a burying squad uh, in operation, carrying off a deceased relative. And there are always repairs to be made to the uh, uh, ant city itself, a good deal of construction work, and, and notice uh, what large timbers they haul along for their size, I mean. Now, if a man were as strong uh, per pound as an ant is, he could carry a ton. there are the uh, food crews too and the ants go out and attack caterpillars and things like that that are a good deal larger than they are themselves. Incidentally they inject a little uh, formic acid into their victims and that helps to stupefy them. But when they have them uh, why they gang up and carry them off like this and when they uh, get them to the ant city each one has his share of the food. They drag in moths and butterflies and uh, caterpillars and grasshoppers and so in that way they are beneficial to the garden. Oh, there's a storm coming up. Well, uh, the ants uh, knew it before I did. We can see that from the way they're hustling around and they're going to make preparations to uh, keep their ant city from a storm damage. I also noticed that the uh, uh, warriors there are rushing in with some uh, cocoons that they've evidently stolen from a nearby community. You know, ants do that. They kidnap uh, cocoons from other communities and make slaves of those young ants when they emerge. Well, uh, uh, in addition to hiding their uh, stolen goods, uh, the ants here are carrying down the cocoons from the uh, fair weather position up near the entrance to the stormy weather cellars. You notice that they uh, carry those uh, rather large cases very easily and also pack them away with a great deal of uh, an expert touch. Well, that's because they do it regularly. Uh, as soon as the weather changes, they start changing the position of the eggs and the cocoons inside the nest. But they do know now that uh, a storm is coming and they're hustling down the uh, eggs and also the cocoons so that they will not be uh, bothered by the weather. And when they have all that packed away, they go and bar the city gates. They, they close the doors up there and, and uh, then they say, let it rain, let it pour. We clever ants have barred the doors. Thank you.